Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so they want to know uh, which value is not contained in the solution of, to the system below. So they want to know which of these choices does not satisfy the system. And that just means uh, you could take each of these, if you wanted to, plug them into all the equations, and the one that doesn't equal negative 20 or 19 and 2, or balance all three equations, is not a solution. But that seems a little time consuming. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add equations to try to eliminate variables, and then reuse those results in our system to solve for a, b, and c. Let me show you what I mean. Look at our first, let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna call this row one, row two, and row three. If I add row one plus row three, what am I going to get? a plus negative a, those are opposites, right? That's going to give us, oops, row one plus row three, I'm gonna put an arrow, will give us zero a's, oh, and five b and negative five b, those are opposites too. Those cancel out. I get negative c plus negative 5c is negative 6c equals negative 20 plus 2, which is negative 18. So just by adding those two equations, I get this equation. And the nice thing, what you have to realize, of course, is that if you add equations in any way, shape, or form, you get a new equation that is consistent with your system. In other words, you can reuse this equation now uh, back into the system to plug it in or to use it to solve. Um, any of the variables. So in this case, I've got c equals negative 18 divided by negative 6, which is 3. Okay, so c equals 3. Cross it off. Now, if I look at other aspects of the system, right, I don't know, do I see anything else that cancels out? Yes, I do. Look at this. We've got two opposites right here. So let's add row 1 plus row 2 and see what happens. We get a plus 4a is 5a. And I get 5b plus negative 5b is nothing. And negative c plus 4c is 3c. But wait a minute, we know what c equals. C is 3. So we can actually go a little bit further and say that's the same thing as 5a plus 3 times 3, or 9. And that has to equal negative 20 plus 19, right? We're adding these two rows. So that's negative 1. And now we can solve for a. Isn't that exciting? So like you can subtract 9. And 5a is negative 10 divided by 5, and a is negative 2. That's also a solution to our system. Now we can solve for b, because we, we have c. We have a. You can plug these values into any of these equations up here and solve for b. So let's plug in the first one. We have negative 2 is a plus 5b minus 3. That's our c value equals negative 20. So that means 5b negative 2 and negative 3 is negative 5 equals negative 20. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. That's negative 15. And b is negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. That is not a solution either. And that get, means that choice 2 must not work. But you can check it. Let's plug it back in. You can plug it into all. It has to work for all three. Right, so if I, for example, plug it into, you could get you could get lucky and one of them it might work, but it has to work for all three. And I guess to be honest, I don't feel like doing that, but I encourage you to do that. If you're not convinced, plug it here, see if it works here and here. If it doesn't work on all three, it's not a solution. It could work for two, but not the third. But it has to work for all three. All right, hope that helped.